Welcome to my next Google Spreadsheets tutorial. Today we'll be covering a function called import range. If you are an Excel user, you probably had a situation when you have one file where there is all the data and then you also now have a new file where you want to do some calculation based on the data that you had on your first file. Uh, now this is where import range function comes in useful when you have different Google Sheets and you need an information to be pulled in from another sheet. So let's get right into it. So I'm going to go to Google Sheets. So here I have this file, it's called sales data. I'm going to click on it so you can see what's in it. So we have some sales information. So we have some sales reps, some state, the brand of product that was sold. We have how much revenue we've generated on that particular day and so on. And I'm going to press control arrow key down. And this should send me to the last cell in this file. So there we are. So about 20,000 records apparently in this file. And what I'm going to do is simply just go and open a whole new blank Google spreadsheet. And the first thing I need to do is type a name, import range, good enough. function so what I would like to do here let me zoom in a little bit is go get the data from this file let's say we have sales data and a very basic thing we probably would like to do is sum up all the sales data in this file so but before we get to it, let's just do something very basic. Let's just try to refer to this F2 cell in our other spreadsheet. And in this cell, you'll see that in our F2 cell, there is this sales number $37.66. So I'm going to go here and type import range just to label this. And right next to it, we will use our import range function to bring that number in. So equals import range. I'll go ahead and hit tab to autofill the rest. Now the first argument in our function is spreadsheet key. So to find this key, you go to your other spreadsheet that you have and you'll see in your address bar right here on top, uh, you'll have this google.com slash spreadsheets slash d slash so right after this d slash you'll see the actual spreadsheet key so it starts there and it goes all the way here after it gets to the slash edit so I'm going to go ahead and copy that so you can do right click copy or control C command C depending if you're on a Mac or a PC you'll figure that out so I'm going to go back to my other tab and here uh, I will just use the spreadsheet key. Now spreadsheet key should be in string text format, meaning you do quote, I'm going to paste that and quote to close that string. So that's our first argument, our spreadsheet key. Comma is our second argument. So the second argument is the range that we're referring to on the other function. So I'm going to go here. So the first of all, I'm going to refer to the tab name to have a full reference. So the tab, tab that we have is transactions. That's the tab. So transactions, exclamation sign, and that refers to our worksheet. And now we would like to refer to this F2 cell. So I'll go ahead and type F2 right after that. Close the quote. Now, if you're coming from Excel, this may be a little uh, 
funny looking because you know this is a reference to a range while it is still in string format so you still use quotes this is still string or text reference so we'll go ahead and close our function parentheses and I'm gonna hit enter now what are you gonna get if you're doing this for the first time working with that particular worksheet you're going to get this reference error and if you roll over it you're gonna see that basically the reason that we're getting this is because we're not allowed to use information from that other worksheet so what I'm going to do is allow access and now no problem we got our number which was 3766 right there so that was a very basic understanding how import range function works. And I guess I'll try to type this right. There we are. So now the next thing we want to do is something more useful. So uh, something very basic we may want to do is sum up all the sales in this file and get the total. So that's in our range from F2 all the way down. Great. So I'm going to go here and type total sales. And here we'll start our equal sign and I'll start with a sum function. Now I have to refer to my range that I would like to import from the other tab. So again, I'm going to go ahead and type import range that's my function then we have our key so one more time I'll go ahead and copy the key go back here paste that in comma so now I'll also refer to my second argument transactions And we said it was starting in F2 cell. Then we wanted to basically sum up all the way down in our column. So I'll do F2 colon F, which means basically start from F2 and get whatever is left over in this column. So I'll close this parenthesis and this parenthesis were, was for our import range function. So I will need one more parenthesis to close my sum function, hit enter and I got a reference error so cannot find range or sheet for imported range let's see what I did wrong here transactions obviously I did a misspell there so here we go let's give it a second there it is that's our total so that was a basic use of import range. So now let's get to something a little more complicated. So sometimes a text that you may want to do is get sales, but not all sales. Let's say we want to get just our sales in our Midwestern region, right? Or maybe we wanted the sales for our state of Illinois. Uh, so, so I'm going to go for my region Midwestern I'm gonna go here and type Midwestern sales so to do this we'll have to use a function sum product so if you don't if you're not familiar with some product maybe you want to watch some product video uh, if you are, then it will be pretty straightforward for you. So I'm going to go ahead and type my sum product. So technically what I'm trying to do is sum if calculation, but since I'm referring to a different tab, then I'm going to use sum product for this. So I'm going to start with my sum product. So the first thing I'll have to do is get my sales numbers so I'll go ahead and refer to that range now 
to make it easy instead of doing this all over again i'm just gonna hit enter it's gonna give me an error that's okay i'm gonna get in here and just copy my import range function from this formula escape out of it go back to my sum product so the first array in my sum product is going to be that first range which is the sales range we have i'm going to go ahead and now paste that same range again let's try to expand this a little bit so there we are i guess i'll close this so it doesn't get on the way so that's what we have now i'll have to obviously adjust the second range so the first one was the column f which is our sales so the second one is the c column which is our region column and we want to get just midwestern so what i'm going to do is just modify this instead of f this is going to be from c2 colon c meaning get the rest in this particular column and I'm going to go right after the parentheses, which is the closing of our import range function. And I'm going to say I want this to be equal to, and in my quotes, I'll go midwestern. Close my quote there. So there it is. I want it to be midwestern region. So hopefully I didn't misspell anything. I'll go ahead and hit enter. Let's give it a second. And there we are. We have our number. We'll probably just make this currency formatting. So that's my Midwestern sales. Now, obviously, you didn't have to just hard code Midwestern in the cell. You could have just had a cell. So for example, let's say I'll type region. And let's make this bold and I'll type mid Western so I'm gonna go ahead and just copy this entire formula right there escape out of it go back here and paste and the only thing I'll really have to change is this equals Midwestern part. So I don't need to be equals that hard coded string. So what it's going to be is equals the cell, which is A6. So I'm going to go ahead and cop, basically just click on A6 where I have Midwestern typed in, hit enter, and I'll get my total. Now let's say we also have Western. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and try to fill this down. Now, uh, an interesting thing, if you're coming from Excel, you would probably think this shouldn't work, but it is going to work because when we provide this import range function range, uh, while we provide it in relative mode, that's a relative reference right here because it's a string meaning text it doesn't really change so this is not a regular cell reference so therefore I don't even need to lock anything it's automatically locked by default all I have to do is just make sure my a7 cell reference is relative in this case I don't need to lock anything and all I have to do is just fill my formula down and that's going to give me my total so I could go ahead and type my next region here what else we had here so we have southern for example so there we are I'll just drag this down there we get it so I'm going to go ahead and make this all currency formatting and apparently we have a lot more sales in midwestern region than in the others so there you go so that's our import range function hopefully you found this video useful if you have any questions or suggestions as usual uh, just comment uh, or let me know